Hello guys, my name is Diego Pacheco and this is another Java video. In this video, we're going to talk about the mock server. The mock server, it has implementation for Java and from JavaScript. In this video, we're going to focus on Java. Although the name is mock server, actually, uh, it does more than mocking. It does mocking, but also it has spy capabilities. And then you can not only observe and know exactly what requests were made, but also you can check how many times that request was made. So you can register sort of expectations and that is transparent from the code. So let's say you don't have access to the code base and you cannot write a unit test there. That's a very transparent way to do tests. And that can be useful if you are, uh, you know, testing third party APIs that you need to use and you want to do uh, consumer driven testing, for instance, right? So uh, in, in that scenarios, like uh, the mocking server can be quite interesting. So I'm going to show two flavors, one that everything's embedded uh, and self-contained in uh, JUnit. We're going to use the implementation with Netty. Um, and I'm going to show a slightly different flavor where we're going to run the standalone server. Uh, and with that, we're going to be able to use the UI and I'm going to show you guys um, what, what's going on. And we're going to have some cool uh, observability with that. Right. So let's get started. So first of all, let me open my idea here. Let's take a look on the code and let's see the embedded version first using Netty. And after that, I can show you guys the standalone one. So let's start with upon.xml in Maven. Let's see the dependencies. So here uh, I have pretty much uh, JUnit standard dependency, and I have the mock server with Netty, right? And I also have this other dependency, which is the mock server uh, with JUnit Jupyter, because I'm using JUnit 5. Okay, so that are the dependencies. Now, I have a dummy implementation here right but imagine like you have a spring boot application or any sort of a java service or a microservice or even serverless um and uh, here i'm using java 11 and in java 11 we have this http client and http request so this is not apache this is java standard java client um and here i'm calling this specific url with like a, a shopping cart so the cart manager i want to see what's on the cart right and then uh, I, I want to hit the view endpoint and this is the cart ID I want to check there. So here, uh, my my sudo backend code is just doing a get call to this URL here, right? And then um, here we can do the testing. So um, basically, uh, there's different flavors on this API, right? So I'm going to show a particular one. So we, we get this client and server. There are also bindings for Spring Boot. Um, if you're doing Spring Boot in application, you can use bindings. Um, so I have here the client and server. This is going to be our mock server. And then in before all, what we want to do is to start the client and server and we pass the port. So I'm using 8081. And then we need to register expectations, right? So this is like when you were doing like a Mokito when you had like a when and then right and here is basically say okay so when when someone do a get uh, call to this path slash view that card and if they have a cookie session um and they have this parameter cart id uh, this value the response should be some uh, response body right and you can register as many expectations as you want and that's why you're gonna have an array of expectations then you can uh, request definitions, all right? So uh, you can go there and ask uh, definitions given um, a specific path, for instance. So that's my setup. In my teardown, uh, which is called before all in JUnit 5, I just uh, call stop on the mock server. And then we finally have our test where I'm gonna call my pseudo fake backend, right? Because I wanna simulate the call. And then I'm gonna use the mock, right? Because then I wanna verify that's the spy part I told you, you we can do uh, and see, okay, um, so for, for this path, Vion card was at least call it one time. If was everything gonna work. So let me run this whole um, test here. 
And then after that, I'm gonna show you guys um, the dashboard. Okay, so you guys can see here that works, all right? We can see our list, uh, array of expectations and request definitions, and we can see our test pass. Now, I'm gonna change this code slightly. So I don't wanna boot up the server and I, I don't wanna shoot it down, all right? So now what we're gonna do is this. So I have this um, jar I downloaded with Netty. So it's one fat jar of the whole app. And I run and I wrote this bash script called run mock server, where I basically do a Java minus jar uh, to that fat, fat jar and I pass the service part, right? So let's run that. And once we run it, uh, we want to open this link, right? In order to see a dashboard. So if you go here, we can see uh, the log message on the server. We can see it's operating on 8081. We see that we don't have active expectations and we don't have requests. And as we run, we're gonna see expectations and requests, right? Um, so now let me just run again. There you go. Okay, good. And if we go back to the dashboard, we can see, let me make this bigger. We can see more stuff uh, on the log, all right? And we can see that we have one active expectation on the Vion card. Uh, and, and, you know, if the path is Vion card, uh, this is the response. And uh, here we see one response, right? So this was called once. And we can see the details of the response. So this is very useful for testing REST requests. Um, it, it, it has great uh, observability. We can do some filtering here even, um, check for headers or specific methods, right? Um, and the mock server is a great tool for you to do um, your, um, your mockings, your spies, your fakers, and to test uh, endpoints, either because it's a third-party API um, or because it's an other team API and you wanna do some sort of a contract testing. So it's a, a great tool that you can use not only with Java, but also with uh, JavaScript. So that's it for today. I hope you guys like it. See you next time. Take care, cheers.